Shalom and welcome to the Valley of Decision. This video is for the playlist, the name game. This is part three, looking at Adonai and Baal. And uh, the presentation is going to be without PowerPoint. I do not have the software for a classical Hebrew font, so I'm just going to use uh, this basic paper and I've got some vine charcoal. These are the books that I study with, that I get my information from, and so that is what I'm going to base this uh, brief part on. And what I wanted to talk about, this is going to be a really brief lesson, it's also a part of this uh, marathon that I'm trying to do. I wanted to talk briefly about, um, more about the name Adonai and Baal, but in reference to the Tetragrammaton. Now a lot of people, uh, well a lot of people aren't familiar with that, but those that are, they generally have a a response of either, huh, okay, whatever, or it's a benign response, or you've got this horrified, oh, that's so evil, that's so bad, the Tetragrammaton, ooh. Okay, so I'm going to explain what the Tetragrammaton is and why it is that people have such a negative reaction. The Tetragrammaton, in all honesty, it simply means four letters. That's what it is. And those four letters, those are the sacred letters that uh, Flavius Josephus described on the the headgear of the high priest and those sacred letters are Yod put my paper right Hey Wa Hey I don't see my papers you know, I messed up Sorry about that Yod Hey Wa Hey Okay those are the four sacred letters. Now, in English, okay, because Hebrew is written from left to right, in English the translation is Y H W H. Okay, those are the, that's basically that's the tetragrammaton right there. In a nutshell, that's the tetragrammaton. Four sacred letters four letters. That's really what it is. Now where the problem comes in is because of the name game. That's why when you hear some people they'll, they'll talk about how bad it is and how satanic or evil it is. What they're talking about is what was basically done. What the what the priest and the scribes did. This is how they were able to achieve what the Almighty said when he said that they that our, our fathers have forgotten his name for Baal and this and this is why and I'm going to show I'm going to show that to you right now because sometimes it while it might make sense it's easier sometimes when you can see exactly what it is that they did so I'm going to I'm going to show you that okay so now again this right here this is Yahuwah this is his name these would be the uh Another way to look at it would be the, the initials, if you want to say it, or the, a title. I'm going to talk about that in another video, but uh, that's another way to look at it. But when you see that this is the name, for all intents and purposes, the name or the title of the Almighty Creator, Yahuwah, this is it right here. Now, I'm going to look at another name briefly, and I talked about this one. Again, it's, you're going you're gonna to recognize this one. Let me get something to stabilize the paper. Okay, and uh, that would be this is Baal. This is the name of the Canaanite deity in Hebrew, Baal. Okay. Now another name that uh, we talked about is this one right here. And I apologize for this paper messy okay this is Adonai this is Adonai this is Baal okay now um, what I'm going to do right here just so that you can see this name game this trick and how it's played out okay Adonai means Lord And it also means master. Okay, Adonai. And it is also a uh, colloquialism or a, a synonym for the Canaanite deity 
ball. Okay. Okay. Now see here above you have ball. That's literally how you would spell his name. Ball. Okay. But the synonym right here. Adonai. And remember it's a name game so if you're in prayer and worship service with someone and everyone is saying Adonai, Adonai, well how do you know if they, if the people around you are referring to or thinking in their mind Baal or Lord Master as a title for the Almighty? You, you, you can't know. You can't, no one knows the mind of another person. So that's, this is one of the ways that the trick was done. But on a more literal level, the other thing that happened is that once, uh, once our people, once the ancient Hebrews, once they were scattered and the kingdom was lost, those Jewish converts who retained the scriptures, the sacred text, they, a lot of them could not, it, Hebrew was not their first language. They found it necessary to create a system of a series of vowel points or patterns that would help them retain the correct pronunciation of the sacred text. Okay, so what they began to do was they would put vowel points underneath the Hebrew characters. Okay, so what that means is that for Baal, this is, I'm going to just write this without going into detail, but this is Baal with the vowel points. Okay, and Adonai with the vowel points, and erase some of this here, Adonai with the vowel points, okay, this is Adonai. Now, the where it gets tricky, okay, why people are horrified and just appalled by the Tetragrammaton, those Mesoretic scribes, they took the vowel points to the name or the title Adonai and they put it underneath the Tetragrammaton, okay? And basically what that means is that would indicate to whoever was reading that whenever they saw this, they would pronounce it Adonai. Okay, so again, that is basically it. That is how they trick the people into forgetting the name of Yahuwah. Just to repeat, the vowel points that go with Adonai Adonai meaning Lord Master and also a synonym for Baal, they took the vowel points, that pattern, they took it and they put it underneath the Tetragrammaton. Now, this was something that I that I knew that I had learned early on, and so when I started to actually formally study Classical Hebrew. Imagine my surprise. This is my textbook, okay? Biblical Hebrew and Introductory Grammar. Imagine my surprise when I got to the part speaking about conjunctions. And I don't, if you can see it here, I'm going to try and focus in. But uh, this is what I read, and I was shocked. I was completely shocked. I'm just going to read it to you word for word, if you can. Let's see if I can close in on it. If you can follow along. Okay, it says, Yahuwah, or yod heh is the covenant name for Israel's God. At a very early date in Jewish history, it came to be regarded as too sacred to be pronounced. Pious readers avoided pronouncing it by substituting it for the word Adonai, meaning my Lord. When Masoretic scholars began to supply vowel points to the consonantal text of biblical books, they applied the vowels of Adonai to the consonants of Yahuwah. There it is, the most benign, neutral, innocent explanation for the name game.
okay but because this individual does not go into detail about what Adonai that it is a synonym for the Canaanite deity of fertility which brought about the destruction of the northern kingdom of Israel and just the horrible repercussions behind doing that what it basically does is that it continues perpetuating that name game and keeping anyone any unsuspecting student of Hebrew in the dark and emulating and repeating this it basically it keeps perpetuating it it keeps the cycle going okay so I just wanted to share that and again this uh, video is uh, for a fundraiser for rent I'm selling postcards bumper stickers buttons stickers publish the name of Yahuwah the stickers have the name of the Almighty Creator his son Yahushua HaMashiach uh, different uh, slogans phrases be sure and check out some of the other videos and I'll try to put some on the end of this one also but uh, let's publish his name Shalom And just a reminder that this is a fundraiser. I'm doing a series of videos just trying to promote and publish the name of Yahuwah and also let everyone aware of the fact that these are for sale. These are postcards. These are stickers that can be also transferred onto t-shirts, onto coffee mugs, onto computer mouse pads. Um, blankets, towels, CD inserts, any way that you want to try and publish and get out the name of the Almighty and also it is a fundraiser to help me. I've got a goal. I need to get $500 in X number of days and uh, this is an, a one way that you can help me out and also gain a little bit for yourself an opportunity to spread the good news to family and friends uh, buttons, stickers, um, postcards, bumper stickers, any, you can transfer these any way that you want. It is my hope that they will help to magnify and glorify the name of the Almighty and His Son, our Savior, Yahushua. And please stay tuned for more videos. I'm trying to do a video every two to four hours if possible. Uh, just to let you know that the, all of the items are on sale for a dollar. So a dollar for a postcard, a dollar for a button, a dollar for a bumper sticker. Uh, the minimum purchase is $15. The uh, maximum is 25 for $25. And of course t-shirts and uh, you know coffee mugs are going to cost a little more. But uh, if you are interested, please leave a message in my inbox. Uh, you can send a postal money order or a personal check for fifteen to twenty five dollars let me know the items that you want and an address where I can have the printer send your um, send your parcels and that's as easy as turning the page of a book okay and uh, that is for me that is one of the best ways to spread and publish the name of the Almighty Creator okay Shalom